My name is Jennifer Grable and I'm the Family and Consumer Science Extension Agent in Person County. One of the things that we're going to show you today is how you can cook smart, eat smart. It's one of our curriculums that we use to teach cooking skills to people in the community. So one of the simple tips is to keep it simple. It's one of the things we always encourage people to do, whether it's simple recipes, simple cooking techniques, simple meal plannings, simple equipment, and simple ingredients. So we have a very simple recipe for you today. As we head into summertime, a lot of people are starting to grill out more. So we wanted to do something for those people maybe who don't have a grill or aren't comfortable using them, but something that they wanted to get a nice uh, barbecue type chicken recipe. So we have our honey baked chicken that we're gonna be doing for you today. First of all, whenever you're dealing with chicken, you always have a concern for salmonella. So one of the first steps you do is you always wash your hands before and after touching any raw meat products. So I've already washed my hands. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut off some of this fat right here. So you just get your knife and simply peel away some of the fat and you're just going to check that because you want it to be healthier. And the more fat you can get off of your meat products, the leaner it will be. So here we have a boneless, skinless chicken breast. And again, just a little bit of fat, not too much, but might as well just go ahead and cut it off because I don't need that. I definitely don't want to eat it. So we've got about three pounds of chicken here that we're doing, I've already got some. Hand washing is always an important step when working with raw poultry products. Be sure to scrub your hands for 15 to 20 seconds using plenty of soap and water. And make sure to get all of the illness causing bacteria off your hands. Also be sure to thoroughly scrub down and clean all of your utensils, supplies, and workstation area. oven. One of the things that we do want to make sure is that we test the temperature of it. The only way to make sure that your meat, whether it's chicken or steak, is done is by testing the temperature. So you just need a food thermometer. I recommend a digital um, instant read thermometer. You just stick it in and it's going to tell us the temperature of our meat. Well, it only takes about a couple of seconds to do that. Uh, poultry, you want to make sure it's 165. So it's 165 and rising, so we are good to go with our chicken. This is, this is a healthier, less expensive way of having barbecue chicken. So, and it's simple, so keep it simple from now on while you're cooking. This has been Jennifer Grable, Family and Consumer Science Extension Agent in Person County. Enjoy!